sure I did this right. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out now. Disconnect to my Wi-Fi, not to my cell phone. No, it's um, I gotta do it on my phone because it's not. It something that went wrong with. I'm just I'm doing it on my phone now. See. Oh okay. Yeah. But what so you can? I don't know why I wouldn't do it. I figure it out later. Okay. Zoom. Yeah, it's like but I, I got to do it through Facebook, not Zoom. Oh, yeah. okay. For some reason, it's doing that. Oh, yeah. Where do I get the messages from? Here? I don't never use Facebook on no computer no more. <laughs> I, use my phone. I don't know if I'm live. Hi, right, if anybody sees me. I'm trying to make sure I'm doing this right. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm figuring it out. You see me live? Hey, okay. I don't think I did this right. <laughs> Let me see. I'm supposed to be live right now in a group of uh, to sign stuff and talk about my book. So I have no idea if I'm doing this right. <laughs> I'm not that Facebook literate, sadly. Uh, okay. Don't know if I'm right. Okay, no, I'm live. I think I'm live. Yeah, I'm live. Okay. Think I'm doing this right. I'm gonna figure this out. So you do see me in the group? Can you hear me? I am awesome, okay, awesome, awesome. Perfect, okay. Perfect, okay. I just messaged Danny to make sure she can um, see me so I can get started. Okay, let me see. We're gonna figure this out, y'all bear with me. Thank you. Thank you, Gypsy. <laughs> You're awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Danny just messaged me back in K. Okay, apparently, I am on now. Okay. Well, first, I just want to say thank you guys so much for inviting me to the live. I hope um, you guys um, are, um, everyone who can't see it now, you can see it later. But um, yeah, I'm Moses Mosley. Um, I'm an actor, model, um, public speaker against obesity and a recent writer. This is my book. Um, it's titled I Am. It has um, all of my, uh, well, a number of my um, inspirational quotes and, and, um, and um, affirmations I use daily to um, empower myself and to keep my mind properly functioning and um, motivated to accomplish my goals and um i've had like over the years i've had a lot of people like well i do like a lot of um motivational um quotes and stuff that i usually post like on um social media and everything so um and one day uh, people would start telling me like why don't you just make a book out of it just put everything in the book and, you know it never really dawned on me until then i was like okay why don't i do that you know so i went back and i got as many of my old quotes as i could find and i just put them all in um in book format where I also explain some of my personal struggles that I've overcome 
and um, a lot of that, a lot of the things that I'm achieving now, based on me changing my mindset, and I go into a little bit more detail about that as well. But um, yeah, um, I started out um, acting about uh, eight nine years ago. I was going to Georgia State University, and um, I got my first opportunity walking out of class one day. And a girl, she was doing casting. She asked me um, if I wanted to be in a movie. You know, and at first I was like, you know, what kind of movie? Like, I'm thinking it's going to be in somebody's basement or something crazy, right? But it ended up being the movie uh, Joyful Noise with um, Queen Latifah and Dolly Parton. And um, they were just looking for people for like a club scene, like background and stuff. And um, um, I was out of class one day. I was out of class by then. And something just told me, just just go, just, just you know, check it out. And ever since I did that one thing, I was hooked. And um, they started sending me out on more and more um, projects. And um, I kept doing them. And pretty soon I just moved up. And um, and Walking Dead was actually the third thing I did career-wise. Yeah, it was um, one of those things where I wasn't sure, you know, what it was. I didn't know anything about the show, the comics, nothing about it. I was just looking to get something more on my resume. And later on, it ended up blowing up into this huge thing. You know, I ended up getting on the cover of Entertainment Weekly for it. I ended up getting action figures made out of me and been traveling the world ever since, um, you know, meeting people and signing autographs and things of that proportion. So it was like one of the biggest blessings that has ever come to me. And I'm so thankful and so appreciative for that, um, for getting that opportunity and all the other opportunities I've gotten so far. And um, yeah, it was just like, I had no idea, you know, it was going to be what it was. You know, I had people like on set coming up to me and saying, wow, do you know who you were? You know what you just did? And I'm like, no, I don't know what I just did and who I am. Like, but thank you. You know, clearly it, it mattered to them. So I was like, thank you, you know. But later on, um, I went back and I watched, you know, the series, ser um, season one and two, and I was hooked on it. And then I was like, okay, wow, that's who I was. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and um, I'm just grateful for that opportunity. I got a chance to um, to do that. And ever since then, I've been um, doing different indie movies. Uh, I've done a lot of mainstream projects recently. Um, I was on the show Homicide Hunters, Evidence of Innocence. Um, I recently was on the show Queen of the South on um, uh, on USA Network. I played a guy named TikTok. I was a bad guy. I won't spoil it for everybody who's a fan of Queen of the South. But um, yeah, it was um, it was pretty amazing. Like Alicia Braga, she's so beautiful and so amazing. It was um, a lot of fun shooting with her and working with everybody. Um, I actually worked with them for a week in New Orleans where we filmed the episode um, I was in. And um, it was just so awesome. Like I'm, I wasn't used to playing a bad guy. So for me, that was that was something different too. And I really enjoyed it. And um, I also was on the show um, Watchmen on HBO. Um, I played a guy named Usher in that. And that was incredible. Yeah, I did that about, uh, it was uh, two years ago I did that. Or two, or one and a half years ago. Yeah, and um, that was really exciting. I had like a, um, I was playing um, uh, um, a guy who came, who basically was back in the past. So it was, um, I was, uh, my character was based in the 1930s and they turned me to a hologram, which was like mind blowingly awesome for me. I, um, they, I actually, um, when I had to shoot my scene um, and do my monologue, I actually had to stand on top of a, of, a, um, of a platform where I was like six feet up in the air. So not only did I have to balance myself on the platform, but I also had to deliver my lines to a red X that was like across the room. So I had to, my eye line was the red X. So I had to say all these emotional things and get really like, you know, emotional about what, um, about what my monologue was about because I was talking about all the terrible things that had happened in that time period. And it was, um, in case you're not, in case you're people aren't aware, um, Tol um, Tulsa, Alabama, was where Black, Black, um, Black Wall Street was. And we were talking about, and my character was talking about uh, the fact that it was bombed and um, it was raided and a lot of people died in the process. And um, I was one of the I was one of the people that observed everything and was there and managed to survive. But um, my, um, my monologue was basically uh, explaining all the terrible things that happened and how I couldn't believe, you know, that happened, you know. So I had to get all emotional again balancing myself and speaking to a red x so it was it was a real big acting challenge but i had so much fun doing it like it was it was incredible and um, i was also on the show um bt american soul recently where i got a chance to meet one of my uh, my personal heroes um uh, clifton powell he was um he was it was he was in the scene with me along with the other actor that played gerald in the show amazing dude amazing really talented and awesome and um, we shot that scene and um my character was um, uh, one of the, um, the leader of the, um, the, the crowd of people that was running. And I had to stop and tell them like Martin Luther King just got shot. And so that was another piece 
that I did um, where I was actually um, playing like I was back in time. And um, that was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. And um, I'm also currently working on three feature films. One um, is called Hank that we were that we actually started shooting um, uh, a, a year before last, but we had to stop shooting because of Corona, of uh, the Corona, um, uh, the COVID um, pandemic that was that's going on now. So I'm hoping to get back um, and start finishing shooting that. And that was made by the same people who do um, Final Destination. And I play a guy named Gabriel and that, so I'm really excited to finish that and for everybody to see when we're finished with it, because that's going to be awesome. And um, I also um, picked up, yeah, Gypsy, yeah, Crossroads, I'm about to talk about that next. And um, I also, um, uh, uh, one of the movies I'm also working on now in um, in May, I booked um, a new movie called um, uh, uh, The Blues Man, where it's about um, kind of like a horror movie slash... Um, biopic a little bit about the uh, about the um the famous blues musician named robert johnson who um basically was the founder of blues and rock and roll and he inspired pretty much entire generation of artists and um, it's basically about the um the uh, the mythology behind him and how you know he got started with everything and um i can't say too much but it's um it's focused around that and it's gonna be um it's gonna be awesome like i like i've read the script and it's incredible like eric jones eric jones is um, one of the main guys doing it and um he's gonna and he's gonna bring everything to life like it's gonna be incredible i can't wait to be a part of it i wish i could say more but i can't but yeah, i'm really looking for as well and i um also i'm headed to michigan I can't say I can't say this about this too much, but I'm headed to Michigan next week for another horror movie I just booked that um, I may be a part of, and um, that's going to be pretty incredible. And um, I'm always auditioning for new roles and everything as well, and just um, expanding my horizons as much as I can continually, and taking classes and trying to stay active. Yeah. 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 Does um, anybody have any questions or anything right now? Anybody that's on? Gypsy, I see you're on there, Danny. Devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> I see you at the crossroads. Yes. Hope to see you down there in Texas, too. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Well, if nobody has any questions, um, I can uh, start by signing the stuff that um, a couple of uh, fans requested. I um, sign some stuff for them. So I have two books right here. This one is going to be for Christine. She lives in Florida. So I'm going to sign this for her. Hope she enjoys it. for Christine and I have another one for uh, Raina she lives in Denver and I'm signing this one for her awesome these two books I'll be sending these out today well tomorrow the post office is closed now <laughs> And I have this print right here, this awesome print designed by Gypsy Wolfhawk. She's amazing. Definitely get your prints and your um, your other digital graphics designed by her because she's incredible. And this one is headed to the UK, all the way to the UK for Emily. So I'm going to sign this for Emily. Emily this is headed all the way to the UK for you Emily look out for it and I already signed this print right here for Jody she lives all the way in New Zealand so I'm gonna bring this one out to her thank you Jesse thank you thank you so much they're all gonna be awesome I know I'm looking forward to it and I have this special pop right here also signed for Jody and this is going to be headed to New Zealand for her really really soon as well I believe that's it for right now. Oh no, I have one more book. One more book for Daniel, who also lives in the UK. I'm signing that one for him right now. Awesome. 
Awesome. And I'll hold up the print again. The awesome print designed by Brandy at um, Wolf at Gypsy Wolfhawk. Check it out. This is so cool. Like she is so talented. You are so talented. I love this print. Everybody, if you need some designs, some digital designs, go to Gypsy Wolfhawk. She is incredible. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I have these two prints and three copies of my book headed out. And oh yeah, and this little guy in my pop. This I'll tell a funny story about um, the first time I found out that I had um, action figures made out of me. I was actually it was this was back when I first um, got done filming The Walking Dead. I was at a party, and um, I was you know talking to this girl at the party. You know I was telling her about some of the stuff I do, trying to impress her, and uh, she actually told me she said, "You you know you have an action figure, right?" And I was like, "Do what?" You know, I was, I didn't believe her. I was like, no way. You, like, no, you, no, 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 no. I would have known about that. No. And she actually, she went online, she pulled it up and I, and she showed me her phone. And I looked at it. I was like, are you kidding me? It was, it blew my mind. Like I had no idea at the time. And it just so happens that next week I started getting them in the mail to start signing for people. So it was just so like weird to me. So funny that like the universe has such a hilarious sense of humor that's how i found out then that next week i started getting them in the mail to start signing and sending out to people and i thought that that just blew my mind i was like so amazed and just honored by that still am to this day eight years later i'm just like i can't believe you know that happened you know like that that, that this is happening you know and i'm just th so thankful and always thankful for every opportunity i get but yes 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 i can talk a little more about my book you know with a couple minutes we have left um I basically, like I said, I go into some detail about um, some of the things that I've gone through and some of the um, hardships that I had to overcome. And these are the um, some of the tips and um, the quotes and stuff that I came up with myself that I use on a daily basis and affirmations that help reprogram, you know, my mind for positivity. Because that's pretty much where it all starts. It's always it's always a mental thing, you know. It's like a lot of us we're not we're not taught about this. Like I didn't learn about the law of attraction and manifesting. Um, until uh, until about it's been like two and a half years. I learned about that. I remember to this day, it was July 2018 that I first discovered about the law of attraction and how your emotions and how your mindset literally dictate um, what you get out of life. And it was like it, it blew my mind. Like it brought me to tears at that at that prospect of knowing all this time I could have just reprogram myself and started thinking better and feeling better and things would have changed and like I swear like it happened it wasn't overnight process but it felt like an overnight process I swear when I started implementing some of the tactics and stuff that I learned everything started changing I started getting opportunities out of nowhere you know and um it taught me that actually I was using it all my life without even realizing I was using it you know and um but when you start deliberately using it that's when the magic happens, you know, but it's all it's all a mindset. Life is 100 percent a mindset. You can program your mind how to think. You can program your heart how to feel. It doesn't matter what's going on out here. You know, like when you get this and this together, this changes to whatever you want it to be. And you just got to stay focused and keep persevering and, and keep training yourself to do and be the person that you want to be and everything that you want, you can get, you know, and you got to separate yourself from negative people. You know, you got to detox yourself of all those toxic people, no matter how close you, you are to them. If they're not uplifting you, if they're not making you feel better about who you are as a person, if they're not uh, inspiring you to keep on going, get them out of your life because they're not, they, 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 may, they may not even realize they're doing it, you know, but at the same time, it's like, you owe it to yourself to give yourself the best opportunity at living the best life that you possibly can. You owe it to yourself. And you're the only one that can truly be the determining factor in how your life goes. You know, you have to take control of your life and you have to decide how you want to think and how you want to feel. And you can do it. You know, it just all starts with a, it all, it all, it starts with a good thought, which leads to a good feeling. Which leads to a good, which leads to a um, inspiration, which leads to an action, and it's just a cycle over and over again every day. Just reprogramming yourself, getting up, deciding that you want to feel good, you want to have a good day, and nothing is going to stop you from doing that. You know, 
It's all a mindset. It's all it's all self empowerment, and that's the main that's the main goal. You you don't want to rely on other people to motivate you. Like with acting, for example, if I wasn't self motivated, there's no way I could be an actor. It's like you get constant rejection, constant rejection. But all you need is that one opportunity, and it can change your whole life. You just have to constantly inspire and empower yourself, and let yourself know, I am valuable. I can do this. I'm I'm worthy. I'm worth it. I'm, I can do anything I put my mind to. Constantly remind yourself of that. And when you get to that point, it'll feel like the clouds just open up and, and like the, the sun is shining on you, you know. But it, it takes time and it takes effort, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, you know. And there's so many different teachers out there that, that, that teach this. Like the one who inspired me the most, of course, is, is Jesus, you know. Like from the start, ever since I was a kid, I've always felt like I had a special connection with Jesus. And it just like, and learning about who he truly was, it's what motivated me to write my book and write the other books that I'm working on. But um, the, the, the other teachers like also um, Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks, Jerry Hicks, um, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Bruce Lipton, um, Dr. Michael Beckwith, uh, Greg Braden. It's like it's, it's and the great, late great Reverend Ike taught me about money. You know, he taught me he, he taught me that it's OK to have money and 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 and. And, and, and still be empowered by it, but just not lose yourself to it. I firmly believe the God that I serve wants me to be rich because it's, 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 your cup is supposed to overflow. That's what Jesus meant when he said your cup is supposed to overflow. You're supposed to have abundance in your life. You're not supposed to struggle. You're not supposed to wonder where your next meal is going to come from. You're supposed to be abundant in all ways. And you can be that and still be balanced and still be a good person. The nicest people I've met, the most generous people I've met are rich people. It's typically the poor ones that are, are, are typically want to hold on to everything and don't want to spread the wealth. It's, it's, it's a lie that they say when they when they say a, a rich man can't get into heaven that's it's not that's not true at all it's a misinterpretation the nicest people i've met some of the nicest people i've met are rich people and well off it's generosity when you give you receive you you when you give you're going to return tenfold and that's what it is you got to get over being afraid to give giving is what is is what's going to make you receive me personally when i've one of my tricks i talk about in, in my book as well Whenever I feel tight fisted, whenever I get worried about money, I circulate every last bit of money that I have. Because you don't, at first, the first couple of times, it's going to frighten you because you're going to get worried. But when you get used to it, you're going to see when you get rid of that tightness, when you get rid of that fear, the money's going to come back tenfold. You just got to get rid of that, that tightness, that, that feeling that you have to hold on to this last penny to survive when it's not that. When you get rid of it, it comes back in droves, droves every single time. Never be afraid to circulate because that's what it is. You don't spend money. You circulate money because it's going to come right back to you. Yeah. But I won't go into too much detail. Just get the book. Check it out. Please let me know if you like it. It's on Amazon. And um, if you want a signed copy, you can get it um, from my um, my website, MosesMosley.com. Or if you want my, um, another one of my signed prints or if you have um, a, a pop figure of me that you want signed, you can go to my website and you can email me or you can message me on social media. I'm, I'm always answer. Like if I don't answer you that day, I will mess, answer you the next day and I will get back to everybody as soon as I possibly can. But um, yeah, this is another one of the prints. Again, made by Brandy at Gypsy at um, Gypsy um, Wolf Hawk. She's amazing. She's phenomenal. So talented. Please, please, please go to her website, message her, get her to make you some graphics because she is so talented and amazing at this. Like when I first, I first um, saw her um, that with the flyer that um, Danny requested that she made, and when I saw it, I was like, "Holy crap, that's awesome!" I wonder if she makes other stuff. And when I messaged her, she finally, um, she eventually was able to respond to me, and um, I was like, "Yes, I need you to make some stuff for me." And she's gonna make some more stuff for me later on too. Like, and I can't wait for you guys to see that. Like, she's so amazing. Like, very, very awesome. Yes, Brent, I'm talking about you. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Mindset. That's what it's all about. It's all mindset. And people don't understand is just like when you change your end, when you change yourself, that's when life changes. You know, that's when everything changes. You cannot expect change without changing yourself. 
When you change yourself, that's when life changes. You know, that's when it gets better. It's like you have to get to the root of your problems and then you're able to grow. You know, that's 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 the key, you know. But a lot of people, they don't want to change. You know, they, they think that they can get what they want and still remain the same. That's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. You have to be you have to be open enough to change yourself, to improve yourself. And then your life improves around it. But yeah, definitely, definitely. I can go all day. I can go all day. <laughs> like this mind science is it's changed my life. Like. I don't look at things the same anymore. You know, I come from I come from poverty. You know, I come from undesirable circumstances and it was that mindset that kept me there. And it's just when one day you, you get tired of it, eventually you're going to find things are going to start coming to you, but it's up to you to make those choices to go with it. Like when you get a good idea, do it. If 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 you're in the place to do it, do it. Do not talk yourself out of a good idea. Don't question it. Don't second guess yourself. Your mind will play tricks on you. I swear it will. Cause mine, mine's crazy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but when you get a good idea, go with it. If you, if you can do it that second, do it. But if you can't, for some reason, whatever reason, can't do it for that second, write it down and you make sure you do it when you get free or whenever you can, because that idea came to you. It, you, you received it, you know, for a reason, you know, and um, definitely act on it because that's the key. It's like you can sit back and you can meditate and you can and um, and uh, you can you can uh, 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 well, like I said, meditate and um, think positive all you want and not get anywhere. It's when you integrate positive thought, positive feeling and action together. That's when everything comes together. You have to act based on these um, based on these ideas, based on the people that are going to come your way. You have to act on it, you know, and don't be afraid. It's like that was one of the biggest things for me. It was fear. It was insecurity because I wasn't sure. And I and I was so used to to think to, to things uh, happening to me that I didn't enjoy to the point where I was afraid of success. Like I was it sounds crazy when you say it out loud, but some people when you're so used to uh, undesirable circumstance when stuff starts to change you get afraid because you're not used to it you know I had to get used to success and as I got used to it my mind changed and I was able to continue to keep it flow flowing of course I have my hiccups everybody does you're gonna have your hiccups but part of it is understanding what that hiccup feels like what it feels like to get off track and then you get back on track okay it's okay to to have setbacks setbacks are a dime a dozen but it's just up to you to see that setback and say, OK, I'm not going to let this hold me back. I'm just going to take it as a learning lesson and use it to grow and get better and better and better. That's the key. You guys got me rambling. <laughs> but yes, um, I signed everything for everybody that requested it. If you would like a, a signed item from me, go to MosesMosley.com or message me on social media or email me at um, BookingMosesMosley at, uh, or BookingMosesMosley at gmail.com. And um, I'll definitely get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much to everybody that came by. And thank you so much again to everybody that um, will be watching this video later on. Hope you guys stay awesome. Uh, thank you so much again. Thank you all for having me. And yeah, I'll see you all on the other side. Awesome.